Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. We're going to put a Trail Tech temperature gauge on the um, on the Husky 350S today. All you need is a um, Trail Tech um, temperature sensor. I got the one with the fin, the 8 millimeter fin. I got it from Jeff Slavin's Racing, but you can get it from wherever you want. I've got this motion left mopeds um, bracket which works pretty good. I put it on my um, my bike over there. And then I just got some heat sink paste. The instructions say to put it on the eight millimeter fin when you put it on the radiator fin. I didn't on my other one and it works okay, but it's probably good to put it on there to help you conduct um, temperature a little better. So here's how it'll end up. It's nice to know what your engine's doing. Um, and it also is a clock, but I you know, mainly want it for the temperature. And yes, it's cool out here right now. Um, so that being said, um, I have a lot of things on my Husky, um, on my left hand side here, else I'd probably put it here, but I have heated grips and my GPS and a few other things. So I'm going to put it on the spot right here and just mount it to where it goes that way. And that's, what's nice about these brackets is you can, you can mount this and it comes apart and you can you know, flip it and turn it either direction. So I'm going to mount mine to where it's mounted on here and flip that way. Instead of on this side, it's flipped inside. So we'll just mount it the other way. Um, you do have to make a wrap of with silicone tape or electrical tape underneath it for it to tighten all the way. But um, you know what? It, it looks good, so I, I don't have a problem with that. So let's get started. On this bike, since I put it on the left side of the handlebar, you can see where I put the fin in there and then came up the left side and was able to tuck it in this little protector here and then come up and you know follow the wiring harness up and mount it and this doesn't need power it had its own power in the battery it with the battery so you have to run it to the battery it couldn't be easier to add um, however on the husky um, I'm gonna have to put it on the right side so it makes sense for me to maybe mount this fin um, you know down in here somewhere and then kind of track up through here along the wiring harness up behind here and then um, up to the handlebar, so that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, I just realized that this gauge comes with um, heat sink paste for the fin. I, I think I threw that away on my other one. I thought it was like, I don't know, one of those things that absorb moisture, so you don't need to get the heat sink paste. Huh, cool, so it's just a matter of mounting this, running this wire, plugging that in, and um, it comes with the adhesive to stick on a bracket, and it's that easy so here's my silicone tape I'm gonna make a few wraps around the handlebar where I'm gonna mount that so I just made um, two or three wraps around the ha handlebar with some silicone tape and now I'm just gonna pop my bracket on it just spreads and then we'll go back together when I place the, the um, mounting surface on with the screw so if I didn't have all this stuff over here, I would definitely mount this on the left side of your bars if you don't have this stuff here because over here I had to make a decision whether I was going to go in front of my throttle cable or behind it and I, I'm just going to have to go behind it. I haven't, I'm trying to test fitting. This isn't tight yet. I'm, I'm going to have to go behind my throttle cable. I'll still be able to see it. So I was able to route this wire up and around behind those hoses. I'll tidy that up here in a second. We're just going to put some heat sink paste on here and then press it into, uh, I guess, one of the fins of our choice. So now I've used that heat sink paste that came with the sensor and I'm just going to put that in one of the fins. So I just picked something that was out of the way and something I could still get to. And then you just push on the backside and you're just going to wiggle it in. I'll get that more flush, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like going in. Okay, there's what that looks like with that buried all the way into that fin. And um, now let's just move on to routing the wire. We'll route it up and over, zip tie it to this harness up around here and follow it up to where it's going to mount up there up higher on the handlebars. So now I have my bracket mounted um, up here. And I'm going to clean the bracket off with rubbing alcohol. And then I'm gonna clean the back of the sense of the um, gauge off with rubbing alcohol and, and just kind of a, sprayed some rubbing alcohol on here. 
and then that way when I use the adhesive that comes with the kit it it sticks mounted this way I've never had one come off I also use a heat gun just to heat to this surface and heat the other surface um, and you can see the gauge when you're on the bike I'm just kind of have the bike on a stand so I'm kind of sitting next to it so I'm actually pretty happy with how this is gonna turn out after all um, so let's go ahead and clean both surfaces with rubbing alcohol and then we'll heat them up both surfaces lightly with a heat gun I think what's nice is that these Treatland um, moped brackets, all the holes line up with this, so you could zip tie it on or use screws if you wanted to, but it's they just fit this sensor perfect. So I lightly heated the bracket with a, with a heat gun, put the adhesive on, now I'm going to heat it again and stick this on. So we're going to lightly massage, um, heat the bracket adhesive with adhesive on it now in the back of this, and we'll go ahead and stick that on. So if you were worried about the stain on, we could put some zip ties through the hole around the bracket here and over here, but I've never had one come off knock on wood, so I'm gonna put the plugs in the front just so it looks finished off a little nicer. And this is just what the this reads until um, until it you know senses uh, something. So um, there's the time, and there's the actual degrees, and and it's cool, it'll show maximum temperature and it just shows that until until you actually run the machine and it records something different, but um, it's pretty cool. At a clock and you get a temperature sensor. And yes, it is 47 degrees out here. So yeah, squeeze this onto the bracket real good. So the temperature sensor comes with these little plugs and you just put these in so it gives it a finished off look. Like instead of having holes, it'll just look like, like this one. So I'm gonna snap those into place now. So here's how it turned out. It turned out good. I mean, from the cockpit, it it actually gets around the wires. I just had to move this down just a little bit, and then this bracket, you can bend it. I tweaked it back a little bit, and it's, it's great. It's out of the way. It doesn't interfere with anything. I can still get to my master cylinder um, reservoir, I should say, and uh, for my fr for my front brake and uh, um, I'll probably eventually remove this because this will be this will be redundant but I'll cross reference them for a while just to see if they're giving similar similar readings um, since they're both viewable from the cockpit here, cockpit here. but um, it was a lot easier on my 300 because I didn't have all this other stuff on the bars but um, I like it that was well, well worth it to know what my engine's doing um, especially if you don't have a fan, it's good to know what your motor's doing, but I, I highly suggest for, you know, uh, $55 all in with a bracket, $65, $70, well worth it to know what your engine's doing since engine temperature helps prevent failure. Um, if it gets hot, that's one of the things that can grenade a motor. So well worth it. Hope, hope this helps. And, um, you know, it really was just a matter of running the, the wire in a neat way that's, that's tidy. So, um, it's a very easy, very easy setup. You don't have to grab power from anything because this has a battery in it. You just literally plug a fin in, feed it up to, to your, your bracket, and you're done. Hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in, and um, good luck adding in your own, your own um, temperature sensors. And you could add an RPM sensor in much the same way, except you'd go to your spark plug. Okay, and per perhaps the best part of doing a, a mount up like this is <laughs> your wife is so impressed. Aren't you impressed with my supreme mechanical ability? So impressed. <laughs> yeah, she's impressed. I, I had to make her go come out and look. But anyway, so that's another benefit is you can impress people with your mechanical ability. So there you have it. All right, well, have fun right on and hope the New Year is treating you well. Just some final thoughts. I know I could... Uh, plumb into the uh, radiator hose, splice in, and you know, that'd probably be more accurate. But you know, for the purposes of this, I, and I didn't want to create another fitting down here, which is another, could be another two more potential points of failure to put a couple coupler in there. So this is easy. You pop it in, you, you have um, a temperature gauge, and I've been monitoring it on my 300. It's been, been pretty accurate when I'm on the trails, my temperature goes up when I'm uh, generally I run around 150 degrees at the top temp 
when it's cold, it's cold, and, and it's giving me what I need. So um, I, I think it's, it works fine for, for this purpose, but you know, again, I, I acknowledge there's other more accurate ways of measuring this, but I think most of us just need to know if we're getting hot, hot, hot. If we are, you need to get a fan on there. If you don't have a fan, if you're doing trails, I highly recommend one, but um, there was an engine builder I listened to a while back, and he said that one of the main reasons for engine failure um, is you know not changing your oil enough using poor fuel but he said a big one was overheating if your engine gets hot cam lobes you know get desurfaced and engine engine metal is metal g is only made to go so hot so once it's hot it, the engine uh, steel gets too hot it gets weakened and then your motor kind of will implode so um, temperature if you're going to put one gauge on your bike i would say i would have a way to monitor your temperature all right thanks for tuning in Feel free to like and subscribe. We have more projects coming on the 350 and 300. And um, have a great day.